right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to do an intramuscular injection or an IM injection. Always remember, follow that policy and procedure of your facility or your textbook, whatever your nursing instructor tells you to do. Um, there are three main places that you can give the injection. Um, the deltoid, the vastus lateralis, and the ventral gluteal. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the deltoid and the vastus lateralis. So when doing the deltoid, you want to expose the patient's arm and you always have to find your landmarks. So the landmark at the top is called the acromion process. That's where kind of that shoulder bone is, that ball and socket. So if you find that, you can pinch the skin like this. And you see my hand makes a little C shape at the top. And you wanna give the injection right in the middle of that C shape. When it comes to this intramuscular injection, you wanna make sure that the needle is the appropriate size for the patient. Um, because intramuscular starts with an I, that makes me think of a one, because an I looks like a one. So around a 21 gauge. Could be a 23 gauge, kinda depends on your patient. Um, and for this patient, you also would only wanna give about one milliliter or under when you do it in that deltoid. That really is pretty, um, universal, you only wanna do the one milliliter in the deltoid. Some people that have larger muscles can have larger amounts. I've seen it in textbooks sometimes a little different. Now we're gonna to go to the vastus lateralis. So that is that side of the leg. So what you need to do is find the greater trochanter. That's that ball and socket joint right here in the hip. Put your palm right on top of it. Then you're gonna find the lateral femoral condyle. Remember lateral is side of the femur, femoral and the condyle that involves the knee. So, we're gonna put our hand here. Okay, that is gonna divide our thigh up into three parts. One, two, three. You're gonna go into that middle part, okay? So then, if you think you divide the leg up into this part, you're gonna go in that top of the third. So, what I'm going to do is open up my needle, because if you remember from the previous video, this is a blunt needle. We don't wanna use blunt needles on our patients. I'm going to connect these like this. This blunt needle is going to go in the sharps container. So again, I'm going to look at my landmarks right here. We're going to go into that top third. So you're going to want to clean, 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 clean. Follow that facility policy. If you're going to clean for say 30 seconds or so, I like to leave my alcohol there because it helps kind of guide where I'm going to go. Now, make sure you again look at your patient. Um, to get that muscle, you wanna get farther in. So you want to see how big your patient is. This patient, we're gonna go at 90 degrees. It can be adjusted if your patient's extremely small. So we're just going to one, two, three, poke. And then you can inject. Now, one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull it back out. Don't actually do this with your patient. We do do what's called a Z-track. A Z-track helps keep that medication into that patient. So when we do a Z-track, you put your hand on the patient and you pull their skin. So again, hand pulled the skin. And then you would inject, one, two, three, push. I'm gonna inject my medicine. For a lot of places, it's about one milliliter a second or so. So I would wanna push it slow. Make sure you follow whatever that medication is. I'm still holding that uh, tension on the skin, keeping that muscle off to the side. Then you're going to pull the needle straight out and release. What that does is it allows the skin to be displaced when I put the medication in. And then as I release, that skin goes back into the proper position so the medicine stays into them. Um, you can use a gauze or something to put on top of it. Just make sure you do not rub it. That goes with all medications. You don't want to rub it in because that can adjust and um, alter the absorption process. You can put a Band-Aid on also if your patient would like a Band-Aid.